Oh, man, you getting a cut, bro. You came from Jacksonville, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's what's up. What are you getting done today, man? Uh, I'm going to do a, like a medium to maybe a high fade, actually. Okay. And we can't do like a crop top, texture the top. Texture the top? Uh, okay. The picture you, you showed me, it, up. The, it, kind of, it had like volume a little bit. It wasn't laying down, right? Yeah. You want to bring it up in the front or do you um, want it to lay down? I actually find another picture too. Okay. I, I'm looking more something like this. Or something like that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do it now. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on guys? Here we are back with another tutorial. We've been doing reaction videos lately and you guys have been enjoying that. So I'm grateful for that. I'm happy you guys are finding value in it. Um, but we back to a tutorial, man. And what we had to start with was definitely a disconnected haircut, you know. So what we got to do right off the bat is make sure that we have something um, to graduate into, right? Something to fade into. We don't want that hard line, that disconnection. So I needed to de debulk um, around the parietal ridge and below to prepare it for a fade. So we went ahead, we prepared it for a fade, debulked it. It's not perfect. We're gonna go in and, and clean it up a little bit later, but we want to. We just needed to hurry up and clear that bulk so we could see what we were fading into. So I started off with my blade all the way open instead of creating a, a hard line. And now I'm gonna close it little by little um, until it's all the way closed. Because now that it's all the way closed, we know that we could take the trimmers and just knock all that bulk below it um, and blend right into the work we just did. So imagine typically we would do, you know, uh, the initial guideline with the trimmers to bald it out. And then we would do the blade open. Instead, what we did here was we did blade open and then went down until the lever was all the way closed until you got to a zero and then we'll debulk it with the trimmers and you could always debulk it towards the end and the reason why i did this is is because i want to focus on making sure that the the c cup was completely blended All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the sides here with this number four into the work we just did with clipper over comb. Now, his hair is definitely different than the hair he showed me in the picture. You can see it wants to sprout like crazy. It, all the hair around his calyx just wants to jump up. It's definitely a different texture of hair than what he showed me in the picture, but we're gonna try to make it work. Give him the same haircut. It isn't gonna look the same towards the end, but it's gonna be a textured top he can wear it down in the front or he can bring it up in the front up to him all right so now we have our number one guard it's all the way open the steps are really the same if you think about it we're just doing the steps in different orders So usually we would do the, the bald line, then we would do the clipper open, then the one open. Um, we're just doing it in different orders. So after the number one open, I'm gonna grab this number three and I'm gonna go into the sides where, where I left off with a number four. So it should just blend right in. Right underneath that, I'm gonna use my number two guard open and close it as needed. And then the final step would be the one and a half guard to go ahead and blend out that line you see um, in the area that I'm working at. Now, because his hair is so straight on the sides, you want to make sure you follow through with your clipper. Cause if you don't follow through all the way up, um, what's going to happen is when you look at him from the front or from behind, you're going to see hair sticking out on the side of his head. Um, so you want to make sure that you have a nice um, flat shape there on the sides. So here we are with our one and a half guard like I was telling you guys and it's starting to remove that line that was there before. And now you just have one more line to take out 
which is going to be done with the number one guard and then the half guard. After that, we'll go into detailing and balding them out completely. Alright, here we are with our half guard and we're going to start off all the way open and close it as we go down. Once it's once we get to being closed, you're going to see that line that's there is going to is going to disappear. And if it doesn't, then we just know we need to go down one more level and that's just the blade open and use the corners. And you can see the line starting to go away. Trust the process. Tito, let's get it. And if you notice, I'm kind of working in quarters, right? I did the side first. Now I'm doing kind of like the the mastoid process, what this area is called, where the side starts to curve into the back. Then we'll do the other mastoid process and then the other side and it should be faded all the way around. And the reason why I don't really fade directly from behind is because when you just fade from the side directly behind and then the other side, a lot of times this mastoid area where it starts to, to, to curve from the side into the back where I'm working right now, um, typically starts to look dark or disconnected from the sides. It doesn't flow all the way around. Um, and you'll no notice that in some haircuts that you'll see if you pay attention. Um, I see it sometimes in, in other tutorials that I watch, especially with drop fades where this mastoid area always will look darker or doesn't really flow into the back from the sides. If you if you if you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments. Just say I know what you're talking about, Chris. And then we just I'm gonna shut up for a little bit. I'm pretty much doing the same thing on this side, using the half guard, closing it little by little until that line that you see there is gone. So what you're going to see here is that I drop down to that blade open, especially in the back. It could be much more dense, a much more um, a thicker area of, of hair. So sometimes you got to cut it lower in the back here. To And what I mean by low, I mean by lower length, right? Sometimes you got to go to a lower guard or a lower level to make it look the same as the sides. And so that's why you see me working here. Instead of using the zero guard, I'm using that blade open. And now just jump back to this one guard just to detail it. So now we're going to go ahead and start to finalize the fade. We're going to ball them out. We still got to line them up and detail some more, but um, this is where we'll really start to see the fade come together since we're balding them out. And we'll always follow this up, this trimmer up with a shaver. We want it to get as tight as possible. Tito, let's, let's go, Tito. Hey. <laughs> And so I switched, you notice I switched my clippers. I'm using the wall seniors with the filthy blends mod. Um, and I'm just using it to detail. I really like detailing with a, with a different type of clipper. Kind of helps you reset your, eye, your eyes and what you're seeing and, and just kind of use a different system to, to maximize your detailing, I feel like. 
You're using the best of both worlds to get that blend blurry. If you notice, the foil shavers do have a power clip attached. So these just came out recently. So if you have the wall finales, go ahead and copy the new power clips. They're available at 245.com. That way you can wirelessly charge. Do not get them for the um, the five star, the red, the maroon uh, shavers because those are not lithium ion batteries. We only make the power clips for lithium ion battery tools. Now one thing you'll notice is I didn't start on the top. Most of the time you guys will see me start on the top. The reason why I didn't start on the top was because of what we had to work with in the beginning. So we needed to debulk the sides. That way we, we knew what we were fading into. And that would have been hard to do if we started with the top first. So since we did the, the sides first, no big deal. Go ahead and start with a profile guide in the middle to determine your length. If you notice, I'm cutting with a, a steep angle here because I do want to cut length, but I don't need it to be a perfect line. It's okay to have some texture towards the end. And now we're going to pull all this hair over like so and connect it over to the sides. All right, so we did his right side or his left side, I should say. Now we're doing his right. All right, do some scissor over comb to refine it. Because remember what I told you guys, with this, with this greater hair, it, you can have little hairs that are kind of sprouting from the sides that you didn't catch before So we just want to make sure that it's nice and clean because he's gonna be looking at himself in the mirror And so he's gonna see a direct view of any hair that could be sticking out that we might have missed So I always like to refine it with scissor over comb. All right, we're gonna add some clay or some powder to the top and Instead of laying it down in the front I went ahead and just gave it a little bit of volume just because of the his hairline and he has a nice hairline and the texture of hair he has it just wants to live like that so let's let's let the hair live free all right and now let's go ahead and clean up the beard so we just went ahead and blended it down into the beard i'm using a number one guard on the beard on the mustache with a number one guard on the mustache, it's gonna cut it short enough to where it looks groomed, but it's not lighter than the, the beard, for example. All right, go ahead and line up the vertical bars, clean up the bottom of the beard, the neckline. I'm doing this right beneath the jawline. Because he has a strong jawline. If I did it right at the jawline, it would look like we would turn his beard into a chin strap, it would look like. So you want to do it with a strong jawline like that, it's going to look pronounced regardless. So just line it up underneath the jawline. 
And then this is the razor. You already know how I feel about that, guys. It's about to bring the cut to the next level. Guys, look at the before. Look at the before. Look at the before. Look at the after. All right, guys. I think the cut came out fresh. I think it's a good look for him um, and his texture of hair. It's not exactly like the photo, but for his texture of hair, this is what works. And um, I think he liked it. He, he, he liked the cut. So let me know in the comments what you thought about the cut. If you like this, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're dropping out content all the time. All the time for the barber industry.